So for today's menu, we have Totino's Pizza. It's a couple who travels to an exclusive restaurant and are shocked to see what's on the menu in this delectable horror satire. Um, I'm going to guess a lot of things in this go over our heads probably, but we'll see. Hello, everybody. My name is Cody, and this is my beautiful wife. Bridget. Welcome back. The menu. It's out now on HBO Max. Um, I remember seeing a trailer for this a few months back saying that looks cool and confusing um and now it's out so, so we'll watch it let's watch it it's a whole is it horror it says horror satire i don't know no idea what to expect but i've heard generally nothing but good right. things so like the video subscribe the channel uh we have a patreon now as you probably know already uh and also special thanks to our patrons for the, the names and they're here and somewhere i don't know where i put them yet because this is all new to me. Let's get into it. Does it always say that? Say that? It used to be Fox Searchlight, wasn't it? Fancy. Why are there subtitles? Please don't smoke. It'll kill your palate. Then my palate will die happy. My palate's probably fucked. Please. Please. That dude played Beast, I think, in the X-Men movies. Fine. Jesus. Thank you. This dude takes his food serious. Oh. Twelve customers total. A night? How do they turn a profit? Twelve fifty a head. You're fucking kidding, right? Pay twenty five hundred dollars? What's that times six? You to accounts. It's not even a client dinner. <laughs> Is that like twenty five thousand? Great. Power tasting. They'll be wasted by the amuse. Dude, you're annoying. I'm a chef, by the way. I used to be. I do this now. Oh shit! Why don't I, I? I missed out on cashing in on Chef Reacts to the Menu. Holy fucking shit! Who's living in Bush? Just food credit for Savor. Tonight will be madness. <laughs> this dude is creaming his khakis. You know who he is? What? Randy on South Park. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm suing that. That chicken. is one of my favorite episodes of South Park too. Fish, fish. Oh yeah. And I've asked me heart, she says, hope she see where the hey. A spoiler alert. I hope you're not terribly destroyed in a chimney. Hey, aren't you supposed to be running interference for me? Make sure people don't bother me. I saw all his movies when I was a kid. Dude, the pest loved it. Chef Slowick would like to welcome you with a raw local oyster and a mignonette emulsion with lemon caviar and an oyster leaf. Mm. One of his classics. Mm -hmm. Lemon pearls. Instagram. Alginate as in, um... I'm about to Instagram my f***ing spread. Check that out on the gram. <laughs> oh my god. I think I prefer just the oyster, though. Love oysters. No. No. You need the mouthfeel of the mignonette. Please don't yeah. say mouthfeel. What's wrong with mouthfeel? He's very passionate about his fancy food. He is, he is. I never went to prom. Really? None of the cool girls like you said yes. I was too busy fawning over food. Those bitches. Them hoes. Mr. Ledford and Miss Westerville. Sorry, yeah, no, that was, uh, d d it's not Miss What, the change of plan. Uh-oh. I'm Marco. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Awkward. This feels awful. Margo, welcome. She did not say that happily. We'll endeavor to make your evening as pleasant as possible. Oh no. <laughs> what was that vibe? <laughs> Backward. Mrs. Liebrand, welcome. Are we in a fucking swamp? A bog? Looks like they've made those cranberry commercials. See, people still know me. I'm moving into the presenter phase of my career. You know what I mean? <laughs> the presenter phase of my career. We are harvesting scallops. You'll eat them tonight. No, get out. Oh, oh sweet. They harvest harder, me dude. We're starving. <laughs> Thanks, Boatman. Oh, no, bees. They got bees on the island. Honey. This island is so extra. We use the meat of dairy cows only, which we age for an astonishing 152 days to relax the protein strands. Oof. Oh, no, cows? I hope. But please do not touch our proteins, they're immature. So what happens if you- You're immature. Well, I suppose the bacteria would introduce itself to the consumer's bloodstream and spread into their spinal membranes. So yes, all hell would break loose. Oh, great. Good to know. <laughs> Good thing we're pros, yes? 
Oh, no. I don't like that. This is where we live. All of us. Except Chef. Where does Chef live? Where's Chef? Why are the toilets out in the open? Each day starts at six with five hours of prep work. We slaughter. We marinate. We liquefy. We gel. The opposite of what you two are doing. You are not gelling, I feel like. You guys ever get burnt out or? Burned out? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Ah. Like tired of. We never burn anything unless by design. To make delicious. Now. Call it a brulee. Are they gonna eat these people? For some reason, I just assume they're gonna eat these people. Even we are not allowed inside Chef's cottage, Mr. Lettrick. Oh, he lives in the cottage. Come on, we mustn't disturb the Lord High Emperor of Sustenance. The High Emperor of Sustenance. I like that. I want that to be my title. Hi again. Oh. Why were they already there? Yeah, why are people Who here? Who are these people? Miss Mills, you will be sitting in Miss Westervelt's seat. Yeah, we've you've clarified we that multiple that, times. Yes. Don't have to bring it up. Please do not photograph our dishes. Chef How's he gonna prove that he's here? Dude, you're gonna go right up to it? Do you make that with a Paco jet? Exactly right, sir. Yes. Shut up. Powderized uh, snow-like texture. Cool. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> She could not be less interested. You really know your stuff, Mr. Ledford. You know my name. Oh, we like to know everyone who dines with us. Why? Is he around here somewhere? I'd love to talk Why don't you take my... your seat? Okay. My bad, dude. Sorry. Who is this little lady? He knew my name, bitch. Yeah, I noticed you didn't ask his name. That long enough. There he is. It's fucking Ralph Fiennes. I ain't letting Voldemort cook me nothing. Fuck me. Is he looking at me? Yeah, they're probably upset about the change of person for some reason. They didn't get rid of all her background. Like soldiers. I kind of want this experience, but I don't want, you know, the creepiness. Can you taste a little goat? The critics are obnoxious. Years, this opportunity has. Ooh. I'm scared for him right now. Yeah, he's gonna get in trouble. Oh my god. Pardon me. Not good, Bryce. Okay? Me and Amanda are not good. It's not good. Was it your fault? No, it was her fault. She made me text her co worker. Yeah, okay, of course it's my fault, bro. I was gonna ask what happened, but. We're pathetic, aren't we? You got, took it right out of my mouth. Jesus Christ, I wanna live inside this thing. Mm. So it's, uh, it's a. Okay. Get over it. You know how people idolize you know, athletes and musicians? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those people are idiots. What they do, it doesn't matter. They play with inflatable balls and you, they play with the raw materials of life itself. And death itself. It's, I've watched them play a raw cook? scallop. During... I wonder if he cooks. I like how they're doing this. I they're know, right? Planning it. What's going to happen, though? Is anything going to happen? Okay. Yeah, chef. Okay. <laughs> Gotta use tweezers. Yum. Just to put the fucking scallop up there like that. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Salutations. I'm Julian Slowick, and tonight it'll be our pleasure to feed. Oh, feed me. Over the next few hours, you will ingest. Don't say ingest. Salt. Mm. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Protein. Bacteria. Is this like an AI generated chef? Do not eat. Taste. Oh. Consider every morsel that you place inside your mouth. This guy will. Him? Right. Yeah. He's been training for this. Our menu is too precious for that. <laughs> Except all of it. The food mm. part I like, but like the rest of it got a little culty almost. Like a little drink the Kool-Aid. On your plate, the plants from around the island placed on rocks from the shore. It's like, it's like a Food Network presentation. The people on this island are not important. What happens inside this room is meaningless compared to what happens outside. <laughs> Just, dude. He's like... Uh, he's crying. <laughs> I find it all very moving. It's all so beautiful. I just... It's almost too beautiful to eat. Yeah. 
Stop doing the pictures. It's so loud. You don't think Chef's mad at me, right? I would be. I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know about your existence. No, he does. Relax, just eat your rock. And to pair for my friends at... There's a neediness to plating, you know? I mean, it's been tweezered to fuck, but the flavors are there. It's very clean. It's very... Shh, what? Wait, what did she just say? Tweezered to fuck. She just had to throw fuck in there, and it, I forgot everything else that happened around it. You're eating the ocean. Yeah. Fucking rock. It's so a goddamn it. travel food show. Yeah. Ah. They shoot me in capri pants. I eat the cheese. And then I, there's a close-up on me, and I close my eyes, and I fake an orgasm, and then off to South Africa, and then I maybe I talk Emmy time. Okay, can I eat now? That's what you're Tell you get an Emmy? I mean, I've had shellfish just as good with my chef at home, Ricardo. You know, Ricardo, he's amazing. Mm. Mm. Incredible. Uh, why do you do this, lady? Please quit bringing this vibe. I saw Peria de Laurentiis the other day. Who? Who are you? They're the other story. Well, hey, first course scallop was solid choice. Let's see what's coming up. Bread has existed in some form for over 12,000 years. And how did Jesus teach us to pray if not to beg for our daily bread? It is an He's in stupid. You get no bread. Wait, what? Breadless bread? <laughs> This is next. <laughs> no, it's not. That's obnoxious. Thank you. What does the note say? What? Are you fucking serious? This dude's upset. I would be too. I like bread. The shit around the total absence of the bread is like really good. <laughs> I'm sure it is. It's fiendish. Really? No, it, this is just annoying. <laughs> Let's be honest. It does look slightly split. No way. I mean, I wasn't oh, going to say no. anything I noticed as soon as... Oh, no, Bridget. He heard them, right? Huh? I think that guy heard them, right? Oh, yeah. And he doesn't give a fuck about the rules. Call me the girl next door, but maybe there are some rules that you should give a fuck about. Like, I don't know, giving food to people at a restaurant? That's a good point. You wicked thing. Miss <clears throat> uh -oh. uh -oh. Bloom, mm -hmm. here is another broken emotion. Courtesy of Chef Slowick. Is everything to your liking, sir? Oh, well, actually, no. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Could we please get a little bread, you know, and some gluten-free for my friend as well? No. No. The menu is sick. I'm like that person who wouldn't ask any questions, just kept eating. Oh, absolutely not. We'd be like, don't worry, we'll just hit up Taco Bell after. You know, we work with Doug Barrick, right? Oh, shit. Yeah. Not Doug. Flip us a little bread. Yeah. Please. We won't. Doug said, send us some fucking bread, bitch. <laughs> what was that about? I said no, yes. Okay. okay. Wow. These dudes are acting like they're about to stand up and throw hands. You will eat less than you desire and more than you deserve. It's a pleasure to serve you. Less than you desire. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. Beat it. That was a total accident. I did. I, I'm... Look at the sunset. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous out there. You haven't touched your food. There is no food. No, no, this is food. Hmm. Don't want to fill up. That would not be possible. I've precisely designed the portions to account for that. So. Well, this wasn't prepared for her. The menu only makes sense if you eat. But you told us not to eat. Only makes sense if you eat. But I am perfectly capable of deciding when I eat and what. Thank you. Ooh, 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 wait. You were here first. Didn't like the second course as much as the first. We hyper decanted it with an immersion blender to awaken it from its slumber. Oh, hell yeah. I was gonna suggest the same. Hmm. She's staring again. Where do we know her? We don't. Do you think everyone's gonna be connected some way? God, I hate it. I don't like it. So let me tell you a memory of mine. I hope it's happy. Tuesday was taco night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> taco Tuesday. <laughs> Why people taco night? This is my mother. Oh. oh, that makes sense. As you can see, she's rather drunk. <laughs> this is not unusual. One Tuesday, my father came home quite drunk. I'm afraid that it's not a happy one. I screamed and begged him to stop. I finally had to stab him in the thigh with kitchen scissors. 
Dude, we're at dinner. Shut the fuck up. Well, I suppose I should have stabbed him in the throat that evening. But we're not so smart when we're young. It was, as you can imagine, as a very memorable taco night. <laughs> yeah, you think? White people taco night. <laughs> Dad and mom are fighting. So, I would prefer tacos to this. Our own tortillas made with heirloom mass. One of Hawthorne's signature dishes. It is a taco. Put you on the map. Put me on the map. We hope this taco night evokes strong memories for us all. Enjoy. This is weirder and weirder. There are restaurants that I reviewed that all closed. Ah, oh, darn. Taco things for the tacos. No. Happy anniversary. The pictures, they're, they're all of us. Oh, no. Things are getting a little weird all of a sudden. Tyler, is that you? Yeah, they're all me from the tonight pictures. taking fucking photos. From tonight. Should I apologize? Apologize for what? Oh, the t <laughs> What? Calling Dr. Sunshine. Hey, guys, what the fuck? What is... Are these? Oh, no. That seems like something nefarious. Mm. I love Can how he's I help eating. You, <laughs> these are tortillas. Tortillas deliciosas. Yeah, so what, what are these? These are tortillas. <laughs> Showing how your company has created invoices with fake charges. I'm sorry, but Chef never reveals his recipes. <laughs> you, do you know how fucked you are? I don't have this place close by the morning, do you understand? Oh. No, that won't be necessary. Oh, won't be. What does that mean? Who is that woman? Uh-oh. What's on the tortilla? Well, how the hell should I know? It's fate. So they turn us, and they've been turning back, and, yeah. and then they'd be just as yeah, fucked as we are. we're fine. Right? So we're fine. People that do this shit never get in trouble. We're, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, yeah. fuck it. Yeah. Excuse me, hey, sir. Marco. Hi. Oh, no. Are you out of did you just fucking snap at me? He did. He did do that. He panics. Do not send shit back to this kitchen, you child. You thank them for even letting you in the door. What did you just call me? Oh. What are you fucking acting like? Tyler, you need to apologize to me right now. You cannot speak to me that way. I like that you're surprised. You didn't, I, it, that's not surprising he does that. Oh my God. This is incredible. You have to try this. Did she get any tortillas? Yeah, I want to see her tortillas. Miss Mills, how can I assist you? What's behind that silver door? Something very special. What do you think's behind the door? I don't know. Slaughter room. I don't know where this is going. I don't know at all where this is going to go. But it's really fun. That doesn't see. I don't think that's legal, sir. You shouldn't be in here. You've barely eaten the food. Why? I take my work very seriously and you're too not seriously. eating. Far too seriously. Who are you? Why are you speaking like this? I am Margo. What is he warning her of? Well, whatever his plans are, probably. I'm guessing he clear, he has a connection to all these people in some other way. That doesn't... That's not good, right? Are things about to turn? We're ready for our next course. I feel like this is a bad course. Well, what the hell is going on, yeah. man? Would you just let me finish, please? Is that okay? Sous chef Jeremy Loudon. Good job, Jeremy. It's called The Mess. Jeremy is talented. Yeah. He's good. He'll never be great. Damn, get wrecked, Jeremy. He desperately wants my prestige, my job, my talent. He'll never achieve it. I hope you told Jeremy this before now. Like mine, his life is, is pressure. There is no way to avoid the mess. This guy has had too much pressure in his life. Do you like this life, this life that you dreamed about? No, Chef. Mm -hmm. And Jeremy's gonna cry. Ladies and gentlemen, your fourth course, sous chef Jeremy's The Mess. I can't, no, no. What are you doing? 
What the please, fuck, man? Please, oh, please, 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 Experience, please. Just what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Is this real? What is happening? It turned. It was a hard turn. I said it was gonna be a hard turn. Literally, I'm quite. Real. This is this is just theater. It's stage. It's not okay, lady. He does. It's part of the menu. He did say that specifically. What is this course? Please do explain. Bone marrow. Oh no. All right, Jeremy London. It said. Oh shit. Fifth course on order. How many courses? How many courses are there? Tyler, what the hell is going on? And here we have a biodynamic. What is up with him? Does he know? Mm, Joy. We're leaving now. No, I have, have to get my rat. Forget your rat. We're leaving. Is something wrong? We're leaving. Oh no, I don't think they're allowed to leave. With which hand will you handle this, left or right? What the fuck are you saying? Ring finger. This fucking guy, dude. I don't understand what he's doing. How is... Do you need assistance finding your seat? Dude, she, this woman, I'm laughing. Crying. Who was laughing? The critics. Your husband's ring, madam. <laughs> no, thank you. The acting is astonishing. What the fuck are you talking about? Are they, they're not that dumb. No, no, I'm sorry, but you're all wrong. About what? My name is Marco. I've served many Marcos. You're not a Marco. What, is, what, is, what the fuck does that mean? This menu, this guest list. You are not a part of that plan. What is the plan? I have to know where to seat you. With us or with them. I don't think you, wanna, you don't want to be with them. Let me live. That you live? No. Of course not. What? And that would ruin the menu. We're all going to die tonight. Isn't that right? Yes, sir! I'm sorry. Please pick. Okay. These decisions are important. And, uh, our side of theirs. I don't like it. I'm scared. Blading in five. Yes, sir! I love you all. We love you too, chef! I knew it was culty. I knew it was drink the cool lady. It's not fucking fair. Why do you get a kitchen course? Smoke all day, can't even fucking taste it. Is this guy aware of what's happening? Oh, great. Good palate cleanser. Fuck it. I'm gonna bring I was gonna say, use the chair, right? Ah! Oh, that's, that's not good. Dude, ruin all their food. They'll get pissed off. Fuck. It's worse now. Are there any questions about me or Hawthorne? Is this bergamot I'm getting, Chef? Yes, it is. And we, we want to know. What the who? fuck is this happening, man? Well, I'll tell you. Think of yourselves as ingredients in a degustation. But none of this should be a surprise to most of you. Most? Knows the damage she has done to so many livelihoods. No, 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 no. no. You buttress. You coddle. Buttress. That, that word keeps coming up lately. You love that I texted you an invitation for this evening. Ten minutes, Miss Mills. Please, my dude. How many times have you eaten here in the last five years? Mm -hmm. Eleven times. You're what? Most people consider themselves blessed if they eat here only once. Please tell me one dish you ate the last time you were here. Cod. It wasn't cod, you donkey. He had to use the donkey. Gordon Ramsay. I've allowed my work to reach the price point where only the class of people in this room can access it. It's pretty fucked up trying to satisfy people who can never be satisfied starting with her your mom you say it's your restaurant it's not you're right doug verrick is my angel investor i would have to say that doug verrick owns me except now things are a little more complicated and i own doug verrick what what does that mean is it doug oh doug Hey, 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 how do we stop this, man? No. Okay, just please just make it stop. It ain't about money. This dude's psycho. <laughs> oh. He kept you open through COVID, you prick. <laughs> he would even 
request substitutions, despite the fact that there are no substitutions at all on! My fucking god. Did he say fallen angel? What? Oh, it's so slow. Same. I said listen. Don't listen. And... What kind of fucking crane do they have? Do you hear that silence? Listen, can you hear it? I can't wait for her date to get killed at this point. You've made your decision. I shouldn't be here. Definitely. And I definitely shouldn't be here. You're not sure I'm brilliant, so don't say it. It's false. You're not. You're not brilliant. You belong here. With your own breed. We thought I couldn't tell all I know a fellow service industry worker <laughs> when I see one. Mr. Liebrand. You've been eyeing him all evening. Oh, well, I think you know. How did he rattle you? He didn't Margo. rattle. It was that he told me to tell him that he was a good man and that I was his daughter and that he loved me and I loved him. So and he's a murder him. You can murder him. I know what a bad customer is. Don't. You're a bad host, though, at the same time right now. I haven't desired to cook for someone in ages. Crazy. You could have just decided to do something else. Follow me. Oh, God. Why are we outside? Nothing to be frightened of. There's so much to be frightened of. Do chef, Catherine Keller. Three years ago, Julian Slowick tried to fuck me. But he didn't fire me. No. He's the man. Our next course is called Man's Folly. Oh, great. Man's what? Man's Folly. The little scissors made a return. Oh. I'm sorry. Right mm. here. Oh no. To our male diners, we now offer you the chance to escape. You'll be given a 45 second head start. Okay. 45 seconds starts now. Come on, you know I'm awful. Wonderful critic. Said you know I'm awful. I'll send for help first thing. You too. He doesn't want to. Now what? What are you leaving? Care to join me inside? It's getting chilly. For what? Go. Oh, the sixth course. <laughs> care what the food is why are you guys still eating this is fantastic the tartness of the umeboshi and the, the waves of ferment there was a time that would have meant a lot to me miss born it's not anymore no way usually don't yeah. like foam but is she really crying i usually don't like foam Fuck away, bro. <laughs> oh no none of you are gonna make this there's no way you know my husband. Ah! Ah! <laughs> um, yeah. Ah! Right. Shit. It needs an ending that ties everything together conceptually. Otherwise, it just tastes good. <laughs> the, the dying thing. Oh, everyone dying was my pitch, actually. Oh, great. At least you're the... I don't like you suddenly. Yes, yes. Fuck it. Thank you. Look at him. Oh, get back in. He wants the food. He's hiding in the chicken Smart. coop. A special bite for the last guest to be caught. A little play on the passard egg with creme fraiche and maple. <laughs> My name is not Margo. Yeah, I it's see. It's Aaron. Oh. He knew your name wasn't Margo. Sorry, I'll take that. Everything's fine. It's good. How'd you do out there? I did great. I'm the only one who got away. I'm sorry, I'm a fine. That was a dumb question. I'm afraid our menu cannot continue as planned until we deal with an unresolved matter. How's your dick, dude? Tell me why you're here. Yeah. He wants the food. I wanted to experience your food. What were you told ahead of time? That everyone would die. Everyone would die. You I had a that. date. So you brought Margot. You hired her knowing she'd die. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, this is fucked up. Why does he know that, though? Why was he the one person who knows they were going to die? For the eight months I've corresponded with you, I gave you, Tyler, access to our world. Why? You said, you said I know a lot about food. That's right. You're not like the others, are you? I mean, you, uh, you know what a Paco Jet is? Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> Cooks belong in the kitchen. Oh, you're a cook. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, I have something for you. <laughs> okay. You look wonderful. Doesn't he look wonderful, Margo? No. Uh, why? Dude's named Tyler. F off. Tyler. Now, cook. What do you need? We have everything. Oh, leaks. Get to cook some leaks. Why? What is happening right now? What is the point he's proving? Oh, sh sh shit. Would you like some shit? No, uh. <laughs> Shallots. Shallots for the great foodie, the phenomenal Mr. Food himself. Mr. Foodie. I bear witness to a revolution in cuisine. How's it going, Tyler? This is such a weird moment. Such a big moment. Mmm. Wow. Bad. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Tyler's bullshit. <laughs> Undercooked lamb. You are why the mystery has been drained from our art. <laughs> Come here. What are you doing? What did you tell him? Bye, Tyler. Now you're free to. What do you mean? We strive for perfection, which of course does not exist, and that is a, a hard truth. Are you gonna let her go? There's only one more savory course left in our menu. That means we must prepare for dessert. Oh no, oh no. Dessert requires a large barrel that is supposed to be there in the corner. My negligent colleague, Elsa, forgot to assign someone to bring it. Oh no, no barrel. Margot is now one of us, Elsa. Right, Margot? Yes, chef. Elsa, give her the smokehouse key. Why? He knows she's not going to work for him, right? What? God. I wonder what's in the smokehouse. Do you want to know why you're being punished? Kinda. Sure. I saw the film calling Dr. Sunshine. <laughs> I did not enjoy it. Shut the fuck up. My one day off in months. And I saw the film calling Dr. Sunshine alone. The memory of your face in that film. Seeing you again now. Jesus Christ. This is fucked up. This dude is just a piece of shit. What about her? I'm sorry, you're dying. So, like, I felt like that vibe, like, this is real weird, right? But, like, they just, they full on did it. <laughs> That's a knife. Oh, great. Perfect. Oh, no. Are we going to fight somebody? You will not replace me. Replace you? Uh, trust me, I have no... Oh, oh here it comes. Oh, oh, that was a heavy thing to pick up. Oh. Shh. That's not a coffee maker. <laughs> Above the barrel, I didn't forget. Oh my god! Oh god! He didn't tell me about the barrel, I didn't forget. Jesus. Yeah, he's crazy. All of these people are fucking crazy. What do you think's gonna be in there? I have no idea. Man, she just murdered somebody. Ew. It feels prisony, you know? <laughs> Hamburger Howie's. What is this? Radio? A ham radio? Birthday, dear bride. Oh, it's your birthday. <laughs> oh, so sorry. You told him it was my birthday? It seemed funny about three hours ago. <laughs> Here's your fucking barrel. I am a monster. No, was a monster. But tonight, everything I'm doing is pure. Cool. 
chef's hands. I can carry a cast iron from a hot oven to your table with no protection. As Dr. King said, we know through painful experience. Did he just quote Martin Luther King? Yep. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> All right. I see you found our radio. This isn't going to work. They're preparing for something. Is it the final course? You'll be tempted to ask him for help, to plead even. This would be unwise. Good evening, officer. How can we help you? Kind of a disturbance. <laughs> Just bandaged. A violent one. Did anybody here call in a distress over the shortwave tonight? We're not in the habit of serving our guests shortwave radios with their meals. <laughs> <laughs> would you like this autograph? I don't want to bother you. Oh, no, 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 no. It, 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 it wouldn't be a bother. I He's setting them up. He's just setting this up. You're great. The chef disagrees. My wife and I, we love that. Um... Call him Dr. Sunshine. Yeah. yeah. Great stuff. <laughs> Here we go. Hands on your head. Oh, Everyone, help now. Help us. Yes, yes you're okay. Hey. 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 Chill out. You. On your knees with your hands over your head now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, Bridget. Oh, no, 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 hey, 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 don't tell nothing to do with it. No. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. Thank you. I think it was part of the menu, Bridget. Oh, my God. I was wrong. You're, you're an eater. You're a taker. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Final course, plating in five. Can't wait. I'm so Look, stressed out. My issue with this is there are far too many c people compliant. That's how fucking cults work. What? Hamburger. I don't like your food. What did you say? Because it sucks. It was the, the picture of him being happy when he was cooking burgers, you know? He lost that. Now he murders people. What about my food is not to your liking? Every dish you serve tonight has been some intellectual exercise rather than something you want to sit and enjoy. We always cook with love, don't we? No, sir! Robots. Your single purpose on this earth is to serve people food that they might actually like, and you have failed. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> I'm still fucking hungry. Right? You know what I'd really like? Tell me. A burger. A cheeseburger. He's just SpongeBob at heart. I'll make you feel as if you're eating the first cheeseburger you ever ate. <laughs> that come with fries? Niels? Yes, chef. Is the fry still on? Yes, chef. Crinkle cut or julienne? <laughs> so what, is he going to cook a couple burgers and change his life perspective and we're going to forget about everybody who's been murdered? Also, hey, how's your dick? She stabbed him in the dick earlier, right? It's his leg. How's your leg? Man, it was real weird earlier when I kept asking how his d was then. Yeah. I don't want a cheeseburger, of course. Mm. Oh, sesame seed bun, huh? Oh, yeah, push them juices out. I don't believe those are fresh cut, crinkle cut fries. I believe those are all right. Uh. Did you only make one? There's a lot of people For her. here. It's a cheeseburger. Yeah. That is a cheeseburger. Mm hmm Can I get the rest to go? And a gift bag. And a gift bag? Thank you for dining at Hawthorne. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Did she just break him? It's all part of the menu, I bet. And please enjoy your gift bags. Some house-made granola. Doug Berry's fingers and copy of tonight's menu. <laughs> Why are you paying? Oh, what no, is no. the voice? I'm a magazine. Thank you for dining with us tonight. It's awful. Part of what I hope is my masterpiece. Uh oh. Uh oh. Marshmallows. We're making s'mores, right? Are they all gonna burn? And now our final dessert course is a playful twist on the comfort food classic. The most offensive assault on the human palate ever contrived. <laughs> but what transforms this fucking monstrosity 
is fuck fire. <laughs> oh no, that's not that what I was concerned about. Where's the flame? We must embrace the flame. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> What's gonna happen? I love you all. We love you, Jeff! Kroger Staff Restaurant. I'm happy she got out. <laughs> All right. You know what? I said things are probably going to go over my head a little bit. What? And some things definitely do go over my head. Mainly that fucking ending shot right there where she took that bite. Yeah. What was uh, that about, lady? Dude. <laughs> Look, the menu. It's weird as fuck, but... I like that, and I'm gonna. Oh, it's it's good. Not as confusing as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't really that confusing no. at all. Uh, let's be honest. The core of it, he, he's a fucking psychopath, Who? cult leader, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, legit. You killed John Leguizamo you. because you didn't like his movie. Fuck off. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> he was crazy as hell though. So like, he played it amazingly. He wasn't as passionate anymore. He lost his mojo because of all those people it, it was crazy he was fucking crazy so but i don't care not it was, I was weird expecting at all not at all like, oh these people are gonna die well eat be eating the last people that came <laughs> yeah i kind of thought something cannibalism maybe right. was going on uh no just that that was insane that's that was an insane so plot that's weird what do you give it so Bridget? unique four and a half Four and a half out of five is fun. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's fair. That movie was fun though. I like it a lot. Yeah. I like fun, weird, cool things like that. I know. I don't know. It's almost like we watched the Knives Out movies recently. It's just that kind of fun. Right. Watching this. I loved how they put the courses on the fucking that was thing so like clever. a show. It was a great just little touch. Yep. Like it worked wonderfully. The H from the restaurant looked like it reminded me of just Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> and how we <laughs> called someone the yeah. donkey. Of it was course. like Gordon Ramsay. I wonder if Gordon Ramsay watched it. Tyler was a fucking asshole and just a He weirdo. knew that he was good. He volunt he was the only one who was voluntarily there. I'm still upset mostly about John Leguizamo's character because he was just <laughs> in a shitty movie. movie. Yeah, like man, whatever. But good times, fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Um what did you think about the menu? Because it's it's weird, but it's fun, right? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, more movies coming. Let us know what other suggestions. If you don't even want more fun, weird stuff that we've missed like this, let us know. That's it for this one. Until next time. Bye. Bye.